guys, Preacher 357 here. I'm back out here on the range with the Henry H0122 rifle. And I did a review on this gun already, but there were some things about it I really didn't like. Well, specifically, didn't like the sights. I couldn't see them. And uh, hard to shoot well when you can't see. And uh, that was one thing that that Rossi 22, that real Bravo that I did uh, the review on, I liked better. It had better sights on it. And for that reason, uh, it just seemed like a uh, an easier gun to shoot. I enjoyed it a lot more, so I thought I would rectify that by putting some better sights on it. So I have some high-vis sights here that I bought uh, and put on here, and I also have a Skinner sight uh, that I'll put on the uh, the rail here on top um, and uh, try them both out. We'll start out with these high-vis sights and uh, just see what we can do with them, see if we shoot a little bit better. I'm not going to do a lot of talking. I've really talked about this gun all I really needed to. I'm just going to do some shooting, see if I can shoot a little bit better with these high-vis sights here, and uh, see if I like it a lot better now. So let's just start over here. We'll just start shooting these red plates and uh, these right over here. Yeah, all right. There we go. I've got it adjusted as low as I can, and it still shoots a little bit high. So I have to hold about six o'clock. That is a lot better. That's a lot better. Let me load her up again here, and then we'll uh, shoot a few more rounds through it. I'll go out there to 180 and see if I can hit a, hit those targets out there at those distances with this 22. I got another plate rack over there. Well, they're, they're plastic plates. It don't work very well with the higher calibers, but I think it might work pretty good with the uh, 22 here. I'm gonna see if I can hit those as well. And then I'm gonna throw the Skinner sight on there and see if maybe I can hit with that Skinner sight. See if I like it better, if I like these three dot systems better than I do the, the peep side. So I'm going to try them both out see what you like better. Obviously the Skinner is uh, maybe a little bit more traditional looking compared to the high-vis, but you know, if you can't see very well, if you can't see the shoot, it don't matter how they look. So let's go over here and see if I can hit this one at 100 yards. See if I can figure out where to hold it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, shooting pretty good. Let's see if I can hit the smaller one at 80, though. Well, not too bad. Maybe held just a little too low. Well, I thought I had the range. There we go. I don't know where that one went. I think I'm pulling that one a little bit. Yeah, slow down just a little bit here. See if I can get the range on this one. That one seemed like it had a little bit more zoom to it. Well, still ain't figured it out. That was all she wrote. Well, I got it a time or two. And I just kind of lost it. I'm going to try one more magazine of uh, I'm going to try one more magazine with the high vis sights and then we'll put the skinner on and try it real quick as well I'm losing daylight in a hurry it has become fall it has cooled down but that also means Daylight departs in a hurry. So I'm rushing, rushing, rushing to try to get a video in before it gets dark on me. Here we go. Let's see. I think I pulled that one to the, to the left. Let me try this. There we go. That one. All right, that's a little bit better. 
slowed down a little bit and did a little bit better. Well, I missed one. All right, that's a whole lot better, guys. So much better than that first video. I really struggled, I remember, in that first video with those sights. I just couldn't see them. And these are really easy to see. They've got the, the, the red high visibility sights in the back, those fiber optic kind of sights, and then the green in the front. Really nice sight picture. But I'm gonna put the, uh, the Skinner sight on now and give her a try. All right, guys, I've got the uh, Skinner sight on. I've still got the high-vis sights on because this will actually look right over the top of them. So the uh, high-vis front sight here may not be quite tall enough. I may have to hold really, really low, really far under 6 o'clock. I don't know. They make a higher front sight that you can buy from Skinner uh, to help with that. But uh, we're going to give it a try and see how she does. See how I like the sight picture here. Let's just start over here on the red plates again. Let's see. Yep, I'm having to hold lower. Hold lower. So I would need probably to go ahead and get the uh, the higher front sight for the Skinner uh, because it's usable uh, the way it is. But I, I I would really prefer a little bit more dead on hold than this. Let's see if I can shoot one of these. Uh, Plastic plates over here. There we go. I think I went too high on that one. Out of ammo. So those do a lot better with the, the 22s. I should have shot those with the high vis sights, with that high vis rear sight on, uh, because uh, it was shooting more. Uh, straight on than the uh, Skinner is. I'm having to hold a little too low. But we'll put one more magazine through here with the Skinner side on there and then we'll just call it done. I think that's pretty much all I want to do. I just want to give a follow up and uh, see how I like the Henry once I got some sights on there that I could shoot with. And it seems like I can shoot with these. So I'm much happier now. I'm having a much better time this time than I did last time. Because when you hit, it's fun. When you don't hit, it's frustrating. And I get frustrated a lot. I think you've seen that on this channel. Let's go out here to 100 yards. Let's see how low I've got a hold here. All right, that's a little too much, wasn't it? There we go. Where am I going now? There we go. I'm going to try that 80 yard plate, but I don't know if I'll get the range having to hold this much lower. There we go. May have just got lucky, but uh, there we go. Back over here to 100. Yeah. That's all she wrote, but I hit on the last shot, so good enough, guys. Guys, if you hadn't yet, check out the description of the video. I have a link there for the Gun Owners of America. We can get a discounted membership there, and there's also a link there for the Tennessee Farm Association, the TFA. Uh, you can uh, click those links, join up, help us with our uh, gun rights, because it takes money uh, to get these le this legislation passed that uh, we need to get passed to restore our rights to the way they were intended uh, by our founding fathers when they created this country because you know over the years there's been a lot of changes made that were never supposed to be made and so we're trying to right the ship we're trying to get things back to the way they were supposed to be so if uh, you haven't uh, joined the GOA uh, click that link there and you can join up if you live in Tennessee like I do and click that link for the TFA and I would urge you to 
to help us out and uh, so we can restore our gun rights the way they're supposed to be. But guys, I appreciate you coming out. Really like this gun now. Really nice rifle. Uh, shoots really well now that I can see the sights. And uh, either one of these systems is great. Uh, I would need the higher front sight for the, for the Skinner. That's not a big deal. And just get that and stick that on there. It's really easy to install these. Uh, it's just dovetailed here and this just slides right on this little rail on the top here and uh, tightens down with, uh, with an Allen wrench. And, uh, and it's nothing to it, but she shoots a whole lot better now. Like it a lot better. Appreciate you coming out. God bless you. Y'all take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time.